Hey you guys, I'm here today to basically just show you all how to print out labels for a very inexpensive cost. So, we're just literally going to get started. So as you guys can see, this is just my Google page. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get the labels. Now you don't exactly have to go through the channel that I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through Amazon just to kind of show you guys um, the labels that I want you to look for and so forth. So the labels that I want to show you with are the Avery labels. Now the labels that I'm going to look for are um, circular labels, which are labeled as um, 5295. So I'm just going to go ahead and search that. So once we get to this page, you can see it comes right up for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. Now you can also go to a Staples or like an Office Max or I know Walmart sells some of these, especially where I am. Um, and you can go in and just purchase any particular Avery label, but just make sure you have this number that is located in the upper right hand side. So the ones that I'm going to be looking at are the Avery 5294 labels. So once you have these labels, whether you go to the store and get them or you order them straight from Amazon, once you do receive them and they are in your possession, um, you can then print your labels out at home. So the first thing that I want you guys to look at is the printer options that it gives you. So here these are for a laser printer and if you don't have a laser printer you can always get an inkjet printer printer, um, and it'll it'll say what specific printer these are applicable with. Um, so this one here is laser. I would look for inkjet because I just have a simple Canon printer but just make sure you're mindful of that. Once the labels are in your possession I want you guys to head over to Avery.com. Once you get to Avery.com, this is exactly how it should look. Make sure you're logged into your account. I am already logged into my account. So I'm just going to go ahead and search the numbers 5295. And it'll show me, oh, I'm sorry, 94. And as you can see, the actual product here comes right up. Now, if you were to order them specifically from Avery, of course, the price would be $11.18. But as you see, Amazon had it for a bit cheaper. And if you have Amazon Prime, you don't have to pay for shipping. And it'll literally be $7.90. I'm sorry, $7.79. So once you have your labels, you want to go ahead and once again head over to Avery, make an account, and then you also want to input the number that you're looking for. So once you input that number, you're just going to go ahead and hit the product. Once you're on the actual product page, you can head, scroll down a little and click start design. Once you get to this point, of course, Avery is super awesome and gives you some templates that you can pre-use, that you can pre-use for your design. I, um, are, I'm specifically getting these as like a branding option to my hair company, Allure 96. So what you want to do is you want to hit select design. And at this point, you can customize the specific design that you want. This is how it looks, and then from here you can hit images, you can add text to it. So I'm just going to go in and really quickly show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and browse the file. So once I add the file in, I'm just going to go ahead and um, measure it exactly how I would want it measured. This will have the white background on it. Once you get to this point and you have your logo or your placement wherever you would like it, you can then add different things. So I'm going to add an image. 
And basically it's gonna be a border just to give it a little bit of flair. And the border that I want to add is this one. So I'm literally just going to measure it. And put it exactly where I want it to be. Don't worry about the safety zone. So once I get the placement where I want it to be, so that's exactly how I want it. What I'm going to do is go ahead and preview what exactly I made. This is how it looks. We're gonna zoom in just so we can see everything. So this is how it would look. And these labels would basically go on my boxes so that you can see where exactly, um, or the company that the box is coming from during the shipping process. And as you can see, they're literally just pretty basic um, all white background circle stickers that has the logo in it. Now from here, what you can do is once you um, designed your labels exactly how you want to, you have the option to go back, you have the options up here to save and or to print, and you also have the option of Avery to print out your labels for you, or you can print them yourself. So basically you're just going to head over to this portion of the screen and hit adjust print alignment. Make sure everything is set properly. We're gonna apply that. And then from here you have the option, let's say if you order a pack and a pack comes with, let me double check, a pack comes with 300 labels. If you only want to print so many pages worth, you can do so. So if you just wanna print one page of this and um, you, know, you wanna use your other labels for something different, you have the option to do that, and you just do that with these um, these menu options here. So once you, so me, I'm just going to go ahead and print all. And once you're ready to print all, you're going to hit Get PDF to print. And then of course they're telling me to save it, so I'm going to make sure I save it, and I'm going to save this to my account just in case something crazy happens. So basically here it's giving me some helpful tips that you can go ahead and read, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and hit open PDF. And once we get to this point, now it's basically sent to my computer and I could just click this option right here to go ahead and print. Once it's ready to print, of course it asks me uh, specific descriptions regarding my printer and then what I would do is just go ahead and hit Rents. Now, since these aren't the specific labels that I want, because of course I want to put a little more thought into them, this is just a me showing you how to do it for the purpose of this video. You would just, um, I'm not going to print these, but if you were to just print your labels, you would just head over to this print option and go ahead and print out all of your labels. Make sure that your printer has, of course, if you have colored ink or color coloring within your stickers. Make sure your printer does have um, ink coloring and also uh, black coloring as well. But yes, this is literally how you would go ahead and print out your labels if you would like. This is a super cheap alternative to printing out all of your labels. So I definitely hope this video was super um Super helpful, helpful for you all in a way that you guys can, you know, save some money while also putting out a great product as well. So yes, you guys will see me in my next video and let me know below how your experience went while using this particular method to print out, to printing out your label. Thank you guys for watching.